Let's get right to our forecast, folks. I'm getting ready to make Melinda Zosh very proud. Here's Baby Yoda. I'm showing this because we got an excellent photo to show you. We've got Baby Snowda, Griffin McAvoy taking this picture and making this baby snow to here. I love this picture. It's really cool. You can actually see it matches up pretty well. That is absolutely amazing. They even got the ears and everything coming out perfectly. I love that. That's from North Tazewell, Virginia. And we also have some more pictures. We've got some more snowman here. We've got Chloe McCoy, McCoy and we also have Kenneth Maxwell. Look at the hats on these snowmans. You got a hat right here, even a sunflower sticking out and also a mask on this snowman. Thanks so much for sending these family pictures, folks. They're absolutely amazing. You can send them in at weather at WVVA.com. And we might show yours on air. So we did see our douse of snowfall this morning. You can actually see five and a half inches towards Hinton and Shady Spring. You head towards Bluefield, Princeton, Tazewell, all seeing four inches there. Most of the viewing area saw in between three to five inches of snowfall across the region. That's kind of what we forecasted last night. Went really well with our forecast. We really nailed it here in the WVVA Precision weather center in regards to how much snow we saw and how much we expected. Now that system's off to our northeast now. It's still churning along the northeastern states there. You push in closer to us though, we're dry. That dry and cold air really filtering into our viewing area. We even saw some sunshine today, which kind of helped melted some of that snow off, especially off the main road. Still seeing a few clouds here and there though. So if you're headed out tonight, good news. The all clear for winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. But the bad news is those winter storm impacts are still there. Temperatures today barely got above freezing in some spots here in Bluefield, West Virginia. We did not get above freezing, so we only got to rely on the sunshine, that solar radiation that helped melt some of that snowfall. And with temperatures just getting above freezing, you're not really going to get a lot of melting out of that. So temperatures have already plummeted into the low to mid 20s. We've got this northwesterly flow bringing in what we call cold air vection. That's colder air coming in out of the northwest and that's bringing in again some bitter cold temperatures. And as we go into tonight, that bitter cold air will continue to filter into the viewing area and all that snow we saw melt earlier today on those main roads. It will refreeze tonight, so we're going to see some very big time black ice issues. I think we're going to see really the majority of the area seeing black ice, and we're also going to see some roads staying snow covered, especially those untreated roads where we did not see a lot of plowing today. So that black ice again, it's not really black. It's a very thin transparent layer of ice that forms on the road. It's hard to see because of that transparency, and it also makes it hard to stop for it. So you want to make sure you're slowing down, give yourself that distance and that extra time out there if you're driving on the roads because I'm telling you folks black ice is no joke. I've seen multiple crashes from it before so you definitely want to be careful as you're heading out tonight especially with the, the big game today. We're also seeing a lot of people out people coming home late tonight. Please be careful driving folks again. We're dry though. Not really worried about any more snowfall temperatures though. Again in the teens bundle up as you're heading out tomorrow morning. Give yourself extra time. Drive slow by tomorrow afternoon. Mostly sunny temperatures in the 40s. Not a bad day tomorrow. We'll see a lot of that snow melt tomorrow afternoon, but then we get more clouds building in as we go into Tuesday morning. Temperatures in the 30s to start the day on Tuesday. A few rain showers pushing in for Tuesday afternoon. Not a washout Tuesday, but definitely going to have a tad unsettled conditions there. Black ice again, the big concern tonight with those slick roads. We're bitter cold tonight. We're cold to start the day tomorrow. We warm up into the 40s with those mostly sunny conditions. And then again, we'll get a tad unsettled through midweek. Thursday looks like we'll see some rain and snow showers and we're cold for Valentine's Day week. And that's your forecast, Christina.